in September, I will have been teaching English for 28 years at the university level. Really? Has it been that long? Yes, it has. Check out this lesson to learn the future perfect continuous tense. Hi, I'm Steve, and this is Single Step English. Just a reminder that if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. You just need to click on the bell button below, and that way you will receive notifications when I release a new video. If you've already subscribed, thank you. I appreciate you watching my videos until the end. It really helps me out. All right, let's talk about the Future Perfect Continuous Tense. We use it when we are looking back at the past to a point in the future, and we want to focus on the length or duration of an activity or event. My example to start this video used this tense. In September, I will have been teaching at the university level for 28 years. This tense uses the future perfect tense of the verb to be, will have been, plus the present participle form of the verb, which is the base form plus ing. So, I will have been teaching. Here is a chart that should make it easier for you to understand. We have the subject plus will have been plus the present participle. Now, let's add the time. This is the duration or length of time that you want to talk about. So in my case, will have been teaching for 28 years. Check out this example. By 2024, she will have been living in New York for 10 years. 2024 is the future time. Then it follows with the future perfect tense, which is will have been. Then we have the location, place where she is, New York. And then that's followed by the duration or length of time, 10 years. This represents the result. Maybe you are thinking, why do we use this grammar tense? Well, we use it because it helps the speaker project ourselves forward in time, um, and it helps us look back at what we have been doing. And that's why we use this grammar tense. However, the key point here is the event has not been completed yet. It's something that we anticipate, we expect will happen in the future. So in my first sentence, in September, it's very close to now, I will have been teaching for 28 years. I anticipate or expect this to happen. Again, it will produce a result. It will be a length of time or a duration. A common way that you will hear people use the future perfect continuous tense is when they talk about their job or where they have been working. For example, next month, I will have been working at this company for five years. The person obviously expects to continue working at the company next month, and they're looking back at their history, their experience, what they've been doing for the past five years, working at this company. You can also use it at a time in the future. Maybe next year, I will have been working for this company for three years. If you have been playing a sport for a long time, you could also use this grammar tense. For example, if you have been playing cricket, you could say this sentence. In August, I will have been playing cricket for five years. You can also use the future perfect continuous tense to answer a question. Maybe your friend asks you this question. How long have you been studying for the exam? A simple answer could be, I have been studying for two hours. That's perfectly fine. However, 
you can use the future perfect continuous tense if you're thinking that you're going to continue studying for a few more hours. Let me give you an example. I will have been studying for two hours by eight o'clock. The time of eight o'clock represents a result. Or perhaps in this case, it's very close to eight o'clock. So you're giving the person an idea of what you have been doing until now, studying for two hours. I hope this lesson helped you learn how to use the future perfect continuous tense in English. If you'd like to try to write a sentence example, please do it in the comment section below, and I will gladly check it for you and give you some feedback. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.